So, hey guys. New uh, event just dropped, and... Yeah. Th this one looks like another DD sweep. So, uh... I guess they didn't learn their lesson from last time. So, uh, Griffin. Griffin at one. And the field spell. The, the one that's a little bit floodgatey, but honestly, it's kind of based. Uh, th that is uh, also banned. Well, th that is banned. Th that's the only thing that's banned. No, no, nothing else is really hit here. So, if we go to DD, uh, we also can grab... Uh, few more cards we might need so oracle king here checking okay seems fine it was my extra deck so loaded hmm. not, not sure what we can do about that but can grab um two more guys so I, I think we wanted one of these guys but not this one right Another monster no more special than one monsters on the field. Monsters on control monsters they control and all the monsters they control have their effects negated. Uh no, that that one's not the good one. Okay. So I believe the last two cards we need are going to be Wait. Oh, it's banned. I right, never mind. Looks like there was another card that was banned that I didn't notice, so if we just go here. Check here. Uh, Duo Don King Kelly Yuga is banned, I guess. Which is fine, I guess. We don't have super easy access into background removal without this. Lair is also banned. Kaiju seems to be banned. So, that's still fine. This uh, deals with sphere mode. Which should be legal. So, gotta say, big complaints. Uh, well, big complaints about the ban list for this. Like, and well, not like the actual ban list. I'm just saying, like, if I want to check the ban list for this, I have to go through here, here, and then they they added this filter thing at some point. I'm pretty sure this wasn't always here, from what I remember, right? Well, I could be wrong, but. It's not that useful anyways, because you can just check this in the actual deck builder. But, uh... Yeah, th this shows Cannon, Soldier, and Cyberstein, so... That's great. That card's normally banned, and it just shows all the normally banned cards. You, despite them never, like, unbanning cards for events. Like, for example, Out of Greed, still very illegal, right? N nothing different there. And... For the new cards that are banned, it's kind of hard to tell, right? Like, for example, for some reason, Pluton HG is banned here. Like, what? Why is this even banned? If you control no monsters or only vanquish soul monsters, you can summon a guy. Is this effect that bad? And Malaria seems to actually be hit this time. All the Snake Eye stuff got hit. Vanadium. Why did... Super Heavy Samurai get hit. Isn't this technically an anime archetype? Uh, no, no clue, I guess. Well, whatever. It's just hard to tell because... What actually got banned? Did we check Synchros that got banned? Let's check. Do, 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 do. Junk Speeder is banned. Okay. And then... Charles is banned. Megma. I guess this doesn't count. Legend Anthology Acceleration? I'm not 100% sure. I mean, I, I should just read the description, I guess. But, um... Yeah, I, I have no idea what this ban list is about, like... For some reason, we have, for example, Time Thief Redoer is actually banned for this event. But, like, for, for some reason, DD is left in this completely playable state. But why? I mean, uh, well, we'll take it, I, I guess, but why? Why exactly? In terms of Synchrotense, is there anything funny I can make? Uh, Bilzius, uh, no. Stardust Chronicle Spark. Uh, no. 
This is at one. One tuner, synchro monster. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Okay. Shooting star dragon. Anything else? Seems not that useful. Honestly, any of these cards. Okay. I'll just stick with what I heck I've got here. <laughs> So just in general, the only hit that kind of hurts is Griffin to one. Aside from this, this is 100% playable, and just to uh, make this pretty strong. Uh, well, once again, prohibition three. I, I have no idea why this is super legal when they like butchered, for example, Blackwing. Like Blackwing just got completely murdered. So if we go to Blackwing. Look at what they did to Blackwing. Samoon is at 1. Vata is at 1. Sudri is at 1. Chinook is at 1. Blackwing's Assault Dragon is at 1. Black Whirlwind is at 1. Blackfeather Whirlwind is also at 1. Even Twin Shadows is at 1. For, like, like what reason? Were they worried about this FT King? Shamal's at 1 as well? Like, this deck got hit worse than, like, branded, unironically. And I mean, like, the normal branded, you know, like, Serenir is at 1, Alubur at 2, whatever. This is way worse than that. But then you look at a stronger, like, overall, arguably stronger deck for this event. Yo. Damn. We're, we're getting off with slaps on the wrist once again. Griffin to 1. Did they recycle the ban list? I, I think they didn't, though, because I think Redoer was actually legal for that one. So, maybe we have a big DD fan working at Konami. So, I appreciate that, I guess. So, uh, I think we're still missing some engine cards somewhere, so we'll look for those real fast. Uh, let's see. I want to read specifically this one. Unsen 1 DD. Or Dark Contract card from your hand to the graveyard, then target one card on the field, destroy it. You can only use this effect of Dark Contract with the Witch. Once per turn, all fiend type monsters you control gain a thousand attack during one's turn only. Once per turn during your standby phase, take a thousand damage. Uh, we can play one of these for fun. Shouldn't be that bad. I don't think there are a lot of hand traps, anyways. Dark Contract with the Yummy Makai. <clears throat> okay. I don't think this one's useful, right? Yeah, okay. So then, aside from these, I think we still need our copy of uh, Cerberus and our copy of Seth Thomas. And then it's just mostly generics from here. So there's also Vice King Requiem, which is okay to run one of, I guess. That might come up. It might also not come up, but if it does, that will be funny. And yeah, that, that, that's about it. It will be funny. <laughs> Kinda sucks not having some of these things, but alright, it's fine. So from here, it's easy to grab some, like, cards. We're going second, like, Raikaki. Forbidden Droplet is actually pretty good, so we should see if that's legal. Bin Droplet is not legal. Okay. How about Dark Ruler No More? Super Poly Rhyzation. The reason you want to be running Super Poly is for the mirror. But it's only at 1. So, I don't even know if it's that worth. So if it's at 1, I don't super care. But Super Poly is good in the mirror because you can just get rid of instantly, like, even bypassing protection from Dark Contract with Eternal Darkness. You just immediately like go ahead and get rid of your bonds like wave hiking caesar and their copy of like siegfried just immediately and i guess that kind of does wonders just wondering about our sink stone is this legal okay good i just had to know how about uh summon switch i think is that legal? Is that not what it was called? Summon three. Then 
uh, opponent. How do so many cards have all of these words? This is so annoying to find, but all right. I believe this was specifically called uh, Summon Breaker, now that I think about it. Maybe Summon Breaker? Is this legal? Uh, no, okay. Wait, what about, uh, Curse? Resident, uh, uh, doesn't see, oh wait, it is legal, summoning curse. This is moderately annoying. You could just run this. I don't know how I feel about this one, but yeah, we, we could do this. And then, what about, where art thou? What was the wording on this exactly? If you go level 1 monster. Uh, no, not this one then. But that's legal. Here you, Ray. Oh, this is legal too. Well. Uh, keep in mind, uh, th this is not legal. Right? So in terms of hand traps, uh, Ash Blossom, Maxi, those are not legal. Effect Failure is legal, but I, I mean... Prohibition that kills every single effect value you have. So is called by legal? Probably not, right? Yeah, okay. So if we were to just run something like this, and we could even run copies of Summoning Curse if we felt like it, but and we're not in this build, obviously, because, uh, yeah, we already have Wave High King Caesar, so who cares? So what else do we run? I don't even know. That there's just too many dumb options. But I guess for going second, Rangeki. That helps. And then copies of Dark Hole, I guess. More copies. Dark Hole. Uh, is Red Reboot legal? No. Alright. Duster legal? Yup. I don't know. I guess I just throw in a bunch of like... Oh. That, that's not legal. Evenly? This legal? Oh. What, what do I run for back or removal? What? I guess I have Twin Twister. And uh... I think that's probably about it, right? So, Twin Twister. Cosmic Cyclone. Oh wait, is Cosmic illegal? It's not then, huh? So, there's only Twin Twisters, so... Something like this, I guess? We didn't do a test hand, it's probably fine, right? Yeah. This hand, not like, super strong, but whatever. This hand, this one is not the strongest hand, but... It's still, like, a good hand. This hand is... Turbo strong. So uh, you guys probably get the idea. So yeah, this deck, pretty strong. And if we open our contract with the gate, this is a one card combo. We open seven Kepler, one card combo, pure ready map. Uh, one card combo. And then uh, a lot of two card combos here, right? Opening Griffin, could be nice, but really doesn't matter here. So that, that's one event done. So another DD takeover. I, I really don't see how any deck is really going to really matter if I go first, right? I guess TG does not hit at all. I don't know what you can do with TG here. They put Screw Serpent to one. Sure. There's probably some other way to play TG. Oh. I think TG is a really good, like, probably one card combo. But I'm not sure how you would do it exactly here. So let's head back. go here now we have synchro link festival so we check the ban list on this but this, this should just be like fusion cards um xyz cards all those should just be illegal that's probably all it is and just start building from here so One of the easiest Synchro Link decks, actually. Oh, so they gave us the Structure Deck cards for this, which makes this kind of easy. So, you know, boom. 
Um, if you play Sword Soul, Tenyi, Sword Soul, Lynx, Synchros, that, that's pretty on theme, you know? That's fine. And of course, we have all the normal stuff like Maxi, right? Oh, Matt Maxi is banned. Okay. At I Fossil? Is legal? Yeah. So Maxi, not legal for this event, I guess. Which is fine. It doesn't super matter. But, yeah. Uh, th this does mean I don't have to play Ash Blossom Joy Spring, though, which is interesting. Real quick, also worth checking. This legal? Alright. So. Hmm. This legal? Okay. Definitely running Galma then. No reason not to run Galma. So here we can either run Omega or try for like the Baron line instead, and that's fine. So we could do that. Uh, a deck we can play would be easily like Rank for Soul is playable. A lot of things are playable here. Oh wait, why is Rousin at one for this? Well, never mind. Who in the right mind would play this, bro? Two stake your soul, one rosin, bruh. This is the only like festival I've seen where it's actually decent to play Vanquish Soul. A and did they hit Sword Soul? A ain't no way, right? It no, no. What? What the hell? What? Why is Vanquish Soul getting hit? Huh? What is wrong with Vanquish Soul? That they, they had to put Rosin to one, so if you play Rota, assuming Rota is legal, they, they might ban that just despite Vanquish Soul players, like, goddamn. So, one, you, you have one Rosin, and, and then you have two Stake Your Soul. So, that's like yeah, three starters. And no ways to search Rosin. Dude, I'm about to be coughing up blood after hearing that. What? What, what in the world? Um, uh, huh? So the only logical way that I could maybe pull this off is if I played Ignites. So since links are legal, uh, this legal. Electromite is legal. So, and Isolde. Yeah, the only way to play Vanquish Soul in this event is probably just to go Ig Ignite Vanquish Soul. That, that, that's it. Aside from that, there, there's no real good options because they put Rosin to one out. Like, if you don't do an Soul Day combo of some sort, like, preferably a Fire one, maybe like Noble Knights Ignites or something as well. I, I don't know. How are you going to get into this? This is just kind of miserable. Uh, uh, did they randomly hit Orcus cards as well? They probably hit Phantom Knights for no real reason. Oh, whoops. Okay. They, they hit PK, right? Or what? They, they didn't. What did they hit? It, it makes no rhyme or reason. Like, there's no rhyme or reason for these hits. It makes no sense. There is no rhyme or reason. That's what I meant to say. Okay, so... Sword Soul? Okay, completely fine. And, and then if we go like virtual world even, so cool. Uh wait a second. They, they hit virtual world. What? Oh whoops. They, they, they hit virtual world? What? But but okay. So Sword Soul is fine? Like, what? What is this? <laughs> the pain. D did they hit punk? What is getting hit here exactly? No, they didn't. What? I mean, th this is just banned because it it's fusion, I guess, which is like fair enough. But, uh,. What? I, I guess punk is not that good without ri rising carp. If we're just talking about pure punk, but if we're just running like a small punk engine, 
I, I don't see the issue with this, right? Oh wait, it, it does hurt. It hurts because uh, Fo Foxy doesn't hit you as far as you would like. So, the, the package would have to look like this if you're running Clunk. Like, like this, kind of, right? But you do want Shurikusai to go into Rising Carp, so it's like, eh, no. I probably don't want to be running, like, Clunk, I guess, then. What is this, though? So, Sword Soul? Oh, it, there are no hits on Sword Soul, but they hit, like, Vanquish Soul? And virtual worlds. Land. Oh. What? The hell am I supposed to play? Uh, well, Mathmech doesn't really need to be hit, right? But but did they hit any Cybers cards? Uh, I guess that got hit a little bit. That doesn't super matter. Real quick, let's check Cybers. They banned Link Apple. For some reason, what? That, does that do anything? Am I missing something? Right now? Looks like they didn't hit Cypress that much. In general, they only hit Circular. Oh wait, never mind. Picari at one. Uh. Oh wait, they actually banned Splash Mage. Oh, that matters. So yeah, the Cypress did get hit. Okay. Just randomly. But I'm pretty sure... I'm 99% sure you can get U-Linked at Ibli Locked. Great. Can't wait to see someone just do that for whatever reason. Oh, this was a big one last time, I think, for like any of these events. Crusadia. Did not hit Crusadia. But, but they're hitting like a Vanquish Soul. Okay. No clue why, but uh, alright, I guess. W what am I supposed to play here, then? Alright, let's just get... Uh, maybe Vanquish Soul to work? You guys think this is worth it or no? Um, mm hmm. I actually have some Infernoble Knights cards as well. So we have Charles, we have this Oliver. Let's see, what's this do? Your monster you control, special summon this card from your favorite as a tuner. If you do equip that monster, you control to this card as an equip spell. This card looks like the kind of card that's going to sit on your field because you built your strategy around it, or it's going into the graveyard super fast and you're never going to see it again. Great Royal. Well, we have Charles. That, that doesn't do a whole lot for us. Uh, worth checking. Kishira. Oh, they murdered Kishira. Wow. What the, huh? Dude. If I can't do Fenrir to add Ryza, that that's already a hit already. Vanquish Soul is really taking it today. Well, there's only one thing to do. Up, 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 up. Uh, we can put three of these in. It doesn't super matter. And then we'll just put in like every single one of these. However many are legal. Did they actually hit these? I can't tell. No. Alright, this is as per normal then. The usual. And this is maxed out copies. Okay. Electromite. Missile Day. I'm gonna run two for the time being, doesn't super matter. Roland. Wait, why Roland? Wait, was it not Roland? Or am I missing something? No. Wait. Noble Knight. Huh? Am I, am I being dumb? No, wait, it's not Roland. It was Renard. Okay. I was just being dumb. Okay, good. And then... 
Durendal. We will want two copies of Durendal. If I can open my eyes and find Durendal, that'd be great. I guess Durendal just wasn't there, actually. Okay. Two copies of Durendal. Painful choice, I believe. Was that what the card was called? Painful decision. We could run painful decision. There's also summoner art. Um, I don't think we actually need to run painful decision. I think we already have like mostly enough. I don't even need it. For, I don't even know if we need summoners art honestly. Doesn't have a hard ones per turn though, so it can serve as at least ash bait. And then we want uh, sublimation knight. Just one copy of this and squeak knight. see it. Ah, uh, this one's fine. Wait, excuse me, what? Uh, oh, okay. I was just bad at spelling. Cool. Let's grab IP. And while we're at it, let's check real quick. Uh, yeah, th this is pretty murdered. Okay. Paco, pretty illegal. So, next line up. One uh, Truly, Baron is legal. You cannot tell me Baron is illegal. Okay. Great. Baron, legal. Nice. Um, English Soul. Grab like two, three of these guys. Doesn't super matter. One of these. We honestly might want to max out on these. Uh, I'm not sure how many copies of Jail Lung we need. Then. One, two, three, four. Dust double as well. Stake your soul is fine. Uh, we'll, we'll want to copy a Caesar as well. Okay. And then vanquish soul, calamity Caesar. We don't need this, right? Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Grab this. We're at 50 cards. So, I don't remember exactly everything you do here. And the pen. Astrograph. Uh, this is actually level 7, so put in one more of these, actually. And are any of these level 7 as well? 6. 6, 5, 4. Okay. So that doesn't matter. So next, auto eyes. Oh wait, that is a fusion monster, so it doesn't even matter. We don't need it. Okay. That, this will just be helpful to build up more material for the long term, right? So I guess here we'll grab Chingying as well. Or is it Chingying that we supposed to be grabbing? Do we banish any cards here? I don't think we do, actually. So if that is the case, we, we might be looking for something else then. I mean, Chen Yung is decent, but... Uh, uh okay. Dispatter. Uh, Dispatter is banned. It's hella banned for no, no real reason. Okay. Sure, I guess. Gas Angel. Can't make that. Uh, Ask Helen. Can't make this. Flower Master. Can't make that. I don't think there's anything we can make here that's worth making. This will throw in this and then uh, throw in. 
uh, what, what's it called? So let's go link to... Oh wait, I remember now. Hebrew focus. Sure. We have the extra deck space for it anyway, so throw in Excel. Confirm three. Hash blossom three. And then we'll figure out the rest of the whatever hand traps we run. Should be fine. Or we just throw some blowout cards in there. So IP for Duckus. And then there is Chengying. Yes. As well as Omega. This probably helps as well, just to have a copy of this. And this is mostly everything, I guess, right? We, we can go to 60 cards and it doesn't super matter. Does this work from and or deck? So we don't have any real units aside from like driver specifically. Except for that, I guess we could like technically run one more Shaolong, but I don't super care about that. Order to Seems mostly fine. Uh, continue, actually, we don't need. So, but we can run some other hand traps and probably just be done. We have three more cards, so... Just throw in some tactics, I guess. Well, tactics, talent... And just... Ghost Bell? I think for Link Climbing Strats, Ghost Bell is like decent against that, so we'll go for that. Uh, Cold by would also be like okay. So actually, let's go for that instead, because this is just a little bit better, I think. So, uh, yeah. I, I guess this functions and this list. I believe if we open three Ignites, this is just full combo no matter what, right? Except if we ha have Roland in hand. <laughs> We don't have a play if we open Roland, right? So yeah. we were actually supposed to run two copies of Roland. Okay, that, that's fine. Then we cut down on Imbrim probably. Or Ash. Well, whatever is fine, I guess. I could actually remove this copy of Borger. I don't think we need to Borger. I think we would only need it if we're playing like the uh, Odd Eyes XYZ, which we aren't, and even then I don't know if we would need to necessarily. But uh, yeah. We could have also done a little bit more, actually. So, Promethean, Princess, Amblo, Whale, Cutting Beyond the Pendulum, uh, IP is nice, but we don't need IP necessarily, so let's grab early instead. And but let's go crazy with it. Get Omega. So, yeah. We, we should just be able to play if we open um, uh, enough Ignite. So, here, the, the, this is a Ignite, so we just need to add one of these low, lower level uh, ignites and we have full combo. We kind of have sublimation at night already, which is actually fine because we don't need to search him. If we already opened him, we just skip searching him and search for more extenders. So that's always uh, useful. So uh, yeah, this deck should work just fine. And yeah, I don't know why they brutalized like we're still so hard on this ban list for literally no reason when Sword Soul doesn't have a single hit of any kind. In fact, Blackwing probably has hits here too, right? Wouldn't be surprised. Just checking, making sure. Synchro. Oh, it got hit alright. Just randomly. Okay. Cool. 
Blackwing is his E tier deck, can't be helped, I guess. Because people definitely play Blackwing, yep. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.